So I want to show you a fabric material that you can create in seconds. All you need are like three or four nodes, which are very easy to set up. I think everybody can follow this. If I want to speed run this, Voronoi texture, converter, color ramp, and vector bump. Put this to invert, set this to 400, this to 0.3, distance into there, color into height, and then this into the shader, and you're done. Of course, what we need for this to work is a material, so we make a new one. We switch then to material preview so we can see what it looks like. And then all we need as a texture is a Voronoi texture. We use this of Voronoi to see what it looks like. We can put it into a viewer node. If you have Node Wrangler enabled as an add-on, add you can press Ctrl and Shift to show a certain node what it looks like. Right now we're seeing the Voronoi texture. What we want to do with this is put the randomness to 0.3. So it's a little bit random, but not too much. And then we then just use a color ramp, distance to factor, put this over here. And then we need one more vector bump node. Put the color of this color ramp into the height, the normal into the normal of this basic principal BSDF. Then control shifting this node will put it back into the material output and we can see the basic texture setup. We have to do a few changes. First of all, we have to set this bump to invert. We have to put the scale to something roughly to 400 was at least my best result. And you can see it already looks like a fabric kind of. At least if you're not getting too close of course you have these rings as well but we can still like um, set this up better but this is the f the first like the easiest way you could set this up just three notes Voronoi texture put it to f1 euclidean which is the standard and then scale 400 randomness 0.3 color ramp we we don't really need it but i usually keep my color ramp like add a color ramp as well because then we can adjust like these these values a little bit you can make this flatter for example or like change this however you want but now as you can see if you if you're not too close enough you can see this looks kind of like a uh, fabric so if you need a very easy very simple very quick uh, node setup for fabric like for a pillow for example that's not like far away or you're not getting too close you can use this for example if you want to make this a little bit more look like threads rather than these weird bumps, you can add a mapping in texture coordinate node. If you have node wrangler enabled, you can go to click this node and then control T to get this set up. If you don't have that, I can show you where you can find the nodes. Vector mapping to find the first one. Input texture coordinate to find the second one. And then you just put generated into the vector and you have the same setup. What you can do with this is then go to scale and just, I think you put this Y value down. And as you can see, we get some nice red like stretching right there. These bumps are just getting flatter. So they look like more like threads that go in and out of the whole object basically. You can maybe even make it bigger so you can get a few different results. And that's the uh, very easy, very quick, very simple cloth material i can probably just make a few objects let's see what suzanne looks like with this actually what we can what we can check is if we go to rendered view you can see it doesn't look too bad in my opinion if you just make it just want to have a quick cloth material i think that looks pretty good how about we add the monkey the suzanne use the same material let's see okay her UVs looks, look kind of different. Maybe we can use a different kind of texture coordinate. We can switch between those. What I usually use is either generated UV or, or that looks kind of good. Or we could use object. That also looks kind of weird in the front right there. So probably UV is the best choice for this. If it's too big, we have to increase the size. In this Voronoi node, you can only go to 1000. If you want to go smaller than 1000, what you can do is add another node, which is input value. And then you can just type in 2000, for example, put the value into the scale and you have a scale of 2000. And as you can see, if you're not getting too close, it kind of looks like some sort of fabric. Of course, you can't really specify how the threads like move and all that, but of course, 
if you just need a quick cloth as I said before I think this can work pretty well so in just a few seconds you can create your very simple of course pretty limited but still it can be quite effective cloth shader and that's basically it that's the super easy super quick fabric material if you have any more questions you can put them in the comments or ask me live on my live channel noggy now if you liked the video you can like the video if you didn't like the video you can dislike the video and put in the comments what you didn't like if you want to see more from me you can look me up on any of your favorite social media platforms and hope you have a great day maybe i'll see you next time see you